Coming up on this episode of Design to the Nines, we are culminating the past three weeks of episodes of designer knockoffs and dupes into one awesome episode where we do our Easter tablescape. So if you're interested in seeing that, stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome to Design to the Nines. I'm Natalie Callahan, and if we've never met before, hi and welcome. I'm really to everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. If you like home decor, DIY, crafts, and really all things home related, I'd ask you to consider subscribing to my channel below and turning the notifications on because I bring you weekly tutorials on all of these topics, and I'd really love it if you joined me because we try to have a lot of fun on here, but I know that it would be even more fun if you joined me. So on this week's episode, I am participating in DIY Mommy's Spring Decor Challenge. So after watching this episode, make sure you go over and watch hers and really all of the amazing and talented individuals on that playlist. So I'll provide the link below. This week, I am so totally excited about it because for the past several weeks, we have been doing several projects, all culminating for this moment. All the designer knockoffs, all the Pottery Barn, Williams Sonoma, and all of those things are gonna be on our Easter table. So let's get started and let's set our table. Okay, before we get too far into this, I'm just wondering what you think of my dining room table makeover. I am so happy with how it turned out, but let me know in the comment section below what you think about the before and after now that you get to see the whole thing. If you've watched any of my tablescaping videos before, you know that I have kind of a process of how I go about setting my table. And usually it starts out with a crisp white tablecloth, but this time I wanted to shake things up because I have a lot more natural elements that I'm bringing in for Easter. And so this time we're starting out with a linen tablecloth. By now you certainly know that I love to use wrapping paper on top of my tablecloth. And the one that I selected today I got at the Dollar Tree. And I just loved it because it had kind of like that natural craft paper look, but it had little flowers on it that were in white, but it was really subtle, kind of like a nice little textural nod to spring. And I just love it. Let's put it on. Just barely enough for my really long table. I also like to add an additional runner. Again, it's always about layering and adding more texture when you are tablescaping. In my Thanksgiving poolside tablescape, I'll put the link above, I used a burlap runner and I'm going to use that again. The one I did was outside and my table's longer in here, so I'm gonna make another one. So it looks like I had just barely enough and the end is kind of wrinkled so I'm gonna go iron that real quick and then we'll put it back on. Okay, so one of the really awesome things about tablescaping is just like with our burlap runner, you can sometimes reuse things. You know, I probably won't reuse the wrapping paper because we'll get stuff and drips and spills on it. But the things like the tablecloths and the runners and things, you can reuse them, just put them with different decor and get a totally different look. Okay, so for my floral centerpiece, this was super easy. You can totally do this. What I did was start out with a trifle dish and a wide mouth mason jar. And I put that in the center and then I filled just some Easter eggs, speckled Easter eggs that I got at the Dollar Tree. Now they came in with um, purples and yellows and pinks as well, but I only opted to do the blue, greens, and whites because it kind of matched my decor already. But I love all the pastels and that would look really fantastic on your table if that works with your decor. As far as the flowers, I have a few flowers in here that are super nice that I have around my house all the time and I bend them and just reuse them and make it work. And then I mixed them in with lots of bunches of white flowers from the Dollar Tree, probably like seven or eight. And I just, I didn't even cut them off the bushes. I just shoved them in and kind of intertwined them a little bit. 
and honestly, it's just a mounted flower arrangement. It's super easy to do. Seven or eight bushes, and then a couple of nice flowers that I had are from around the house, and bam, you have an awesome centerpiece for Easter. I don't know if you recognize this tray, but I featured this in my Valentine's tutorial. It was filled with the little tea lights. Well, I went to Michael's and got some of this grass mat and cut it down to fit inside of it. And the grass mat was like um, regularly $10, but Michael's is always having like 50% off or 40% off coupons. So I was able to grab this for $6 because it was on a 40% off sale. And I also grabbed these other little speckled Easter eggs um, from Michael's as well. They were $3 a bag. I think I got, did I get two bags or one bag? I don't remember. But they were $3 a bag and they are so cute. So we're gonna put that right down low in front. So on my last episode, you will remember that I did a dupe of Pottery Barn's, um, I think they're called Bunny Ivy Topiaries or something like that. These look a little bit different than what I showed you, but I kept looking at it and I felt like it was missing a little something extra. And so I actually happened to have some of this um, greenery on hand, this variegated stuff, and I decided to add it on and it just really took it over the top and it really added that something that I felt like it was missing. I got it on a clearance sale, so I probably didn't pay more than a dollar for the greenery and I've added it to all of our moss bunnies from last tutorial. So we're gonna put them on now. You'll notice on this one, I ended up placing it on a little cupcake stand just to give it a little height to balance up with the other side. So we'll just tuck them in here. I love these little bunnies. They're probably one of my favorite knockoffs. Just to balance things out with the other side weight-wise, I've got this little sign at Ross that says, hello, honey bunny. Anyways, I thought that would look really cute on our tablescape. So I just wanted to add a few finishing touches. I've got a whole bunch of these moss, like covered stone things that I got at the Dollar Tree. And I, we're just gonna scatter them in here and just fill it in a little bit. And then I also have some of these extras of the speckled eggs. So we're gonna just place them strategically through. Okay, so on Pottery Barn, I saw the most adorable wood charger plates. And I knew that I wasn't gonna spend $40 a piece. So I found some chargers that had like a wood look to them on dollartree.com. And honestly, truth be told, they looked a little bit more wood-like than they are. I mean, you can see the grain, but these ones are definitely more gold. And I was going for more natural, but I think it's gonna work. And I debated about whether or not to even use them because I have like kind of a double charger thing going on. So I'll show you what I mean in just a second, but let's get these on the table. So you'll notice that I'm only setting the table for six. I only have six chairs. I'm looking for the perfect captain's chairs. I've not yet found them yet, so you'll have to watch for that because I'm sure that will involve some kind of tutorial for you, so stay tuned for that. Okay, so I mentioned that, that I had debated whether or not to even use chargers. I ultimately decided on it because I liked the added layers, but I got these ivy wreaths at the Dollar Tree, dollar a piece, and they are the perfect size for a plate to go on top and they look like a you know a nest and we have definitely a nest thing going on so again i'm going to use both of them because i like the texture but you could get away with just using these so now it's time to set our dishes and and you'll see me use these time and time again i'm just using everyday white plates it works out great because we have those decorative bunny damask plates that we did I always find that food looks beautiful on a traditional white plate, so it works out great. I just love how the white plate is in a little bird's nest. It's so cute. Okay, so we have our Williams Sonoma bunny damask dishes dupe that we did a couple episodes ago. I'll put the link up there if you have not seen that yet and how I did this. 
I'm so excited to finally put them on my Easter table. And you'll notice that I actually did them in two different colors. So this one's kind of more of like a steely blue and this is more of a turquoise. So I'm gonna just alternate those every other chair. as cute as I had hoped. Now we need to let people know where to sit, so it's time to put on our little place card holders a dupe of Pottery Barns. Spring is in the air. All right, time for stemware. Okay, so in our last tutorial, we duped some older um, napkin rings by Pottery Barn Burlap Bunny Ears. So we are gonna place those now. So cute. And I am just gonna place it right on the edge of the right-hand side of the plate. tablescape is done. I am so thrilled with how it turned out. I hope that you liked it too. If you did, let me know in the comment section below what your favorite element was and maybe what you didn't like or maybe what you thought I was missing. I like to hear all of your comments, believe it or not. So thank you so much for stopping by and I want to see your Easter table too. So in order to do that, you can hop on over to Facebook, to my Facebook page, designed to the nines and in that Facebook page there's a secret group called all things home related and you can upload your projects and share out on your Easter table successes and I so look forward to seeing those if you liked what you saw today hit the like button below and comment and let me know and consider subscribing to my channel because I bring you weekly tutorials that you are not gonna wanna miss, or at least I hope you don't want to miss. So thanks so much and stay tuned for next episode.